Well, we got the weather forecast figured out, and it's showers and thunderstorms for some of us. Pat Pagano, good morning. For most of you. <laughs> That's right. All depends where you are, when you are, and why you are. <laughs> well, I think everybody will get rain. Yeah. It's just a matter of how much everybody gets yeah. uh, because it will not fall evenly. Right now, there's not much around the area. Uh, we have uh, showers to the west of us, west of the Catskills. We have showers to the south of us, uh, northern New Jersey over to Long Island. Everything is moving from the south to the north. So there'll be times of showers and thunderstorms today, tonight, and tomorrow. All of this should add up to an average of a half to one inch of rain. Some places can get a little bit more if they're in heavier thunderstorms. 70 to 75 today, mid-60s tonight, low 80s Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, hazy and humid, just a chance of a pop-up thunderstorm. And it's going to be between 85 and 90, and the same holds true for Friday. So, again, aside from today, staying in the 70s because of the clouds and rain, uh, 80s all week long locally near 90 and humid. How about those apples? Well, huh? they are what they are. They are what they are. Yeah, that's they are it. what they are. Uh, tropical systems, they're watching something off of the Cape Verde Islands, off Africa. And uh, a couple of the models have picked it up. And uh, they're bringing it off the southeast Atlantic coast by Labor Day weekend. Um, I mean, that's the thinking right now. Who knows where to go? I mean, it could go further south and slide into the Gulf. So... Uh, that is the only thing that they're watching right now. It's not even a depression. It is nothing but a tropical wave. So uh, the tropics relatively quiet, like our weekend was. There was a couple of pretty heavy thunderstorms um, in uh, northern New Jersey and the Catskills. Uh, Saturday, late Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Uh, they were so heavy that uh, they were actually producing flash flooding. Um, so that was about the only... Um, I guess you would call it, uh, what, um, inclement weather of the weekend. Otherwise, it was just, you know, typical August weather. I worked very hard over the weekend at the lake. Um, I was at the studio Saturday, uh, continuing there. Uh, Saturday night, we had the meeting with with the cast, and I broke it to them that this is the last movie. Um, Some of them can't believe it. They said, you know, Pat, you've been saying that for the last couple of years. I said, yeah, and I've just been, you know, sort of um, pushing on forward. They said, but now it's over. I said, uh, you know, watching 20 volunteers at the picnic and me not getting one for the movie, I've had it. Um, and then another guy said, he goes, but Pat, this is your, this up here, this is your life. You live for this. I says, believe me, I want to live, period. I don't want to die for it. <laughs> And he goes, I hear you. So uh, that's it. So everybody uh, kind of accepted it. And and then Sunday, it was uh, back to work. Cleaned out my back shed uh, because I had to get a table out. It was buried on the, not only a lot of stuff, Marshall, but it was buried on the stuff that was covered with you know what. Uh, And yeah, that really did. That really did, you know, skeeve me out. Uh, my friend Helen helped me a lot. How'd you uh, do it? Because you don't like that stuff. Uh, no, uh, we were able to get it out of the shed, and uh, then we had this stuff. Um, I forget what it's called. Um, it, it kills ninety nine percent bacteria, and uh, it also kills COVID. Um, and we just sprayed all this stuff that we were keeping, and wiped it down clean, washed it up, um, and what we weren't keeping, we just put into big, huge garbage bags, and we brought it to the dumpster. And out that went. And uh, after that, then I had to go to the studio, and I went by myself, which was probably a mistake. Um, have you ever tried to wheel one of those old-fashioned spotlights? Yeah, because when we first started the TV station... Uh, the, the local access TV station. Those are the only. Those are the only spotlights we had. I mean, uh, you know, now we have these real lightweight LED square panels that weigh weigh the whole thing weighs about a pound and a half. 
Right. Well, you do remember how heavy those. Oh those gosh, were. yeah. So I had to get this spotlight on the stand, out of the studio, and into the shed by the studio. And there is a step down at the studio, and there's a step up at the shed. And I'm thinking to myself, how are you going to do this? Because you cannot lift this either way. It's just too heavy for a person. So I looked around. I got a little, I found a little ramp, like a little wooden ramp. And I, um, you know, sort of got it up to uh, the ledge. And I was able to wheel it down out of the studio. But unfortunately, I didn't think about the fact that the dirt between the studio and the shed was all pebbles. Oh, gosh, yeah. Trying to move that thing, it was like was trying to move it in sand. That's what it was like. I did get it to the shed, propped up the little platform again, and up into the shed and away. That took me 45 minutes, and I, I, I have to tell you, by the time I was finished, I was drenched. Mm. That's how humid it was. Um, yeah, I was totally drenched, but that's all done. So now next week is the finishing touches to the set, and the week after, we start the shoot. And how long do you think it'll take you to shoot? I'm hoping not that long. I was actually hoping that we'd be done by the end of September to leave us a couple of weeks in October, uh, not only just to close up, but like, you know, maybe uh, fly around and catch uh, an October fest or, a fe you know, a nice fall festival. Because we never have that opportunity. We never have that chance. Because we're always so busy with this movie. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll get this done earlier. That's my hope. And if that happens and you get the chance to do that, yeah. that will seal the deal where you'll never do the movie again. Because Probably. you'll realize what you've been missing. Missing. You're absolutely right. Yep. And I told them next year we'll do the retrospect of the last 10 years and we'll do one musical number. And then each year after that, there will be the video contest for everybody to participate in, uh, which doesn't lead me to do much work at all. But I guarantee you, in two years when we do this, and we offer this contest, and we say first prize is $350, second prize is $250, how much you want to make about a lot of people show up? Oh, yeah. For the, to get the money? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That they think the money's in their pocket automatically. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> By the way, talking about money in your pocket, are we supposed to be getting another stimulus payment? No. Not if no. you got one already. Okay. Not, no, if, if you didn't get one, there's a possibility you might get some additional some, some aid. But no. Okay. No, oh, there's okay. no, no. Uh, the stimulus has been stimulated. <laughs> uh, that's what I kind of thought, but there's people on the Internet riding all over the place saying, oh, we're supposed to get another check. Blah, blah. I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what they think. The government's going to keep sending out checks every season. Certain people that didn't get that second check right. will probably get a check. But that's, that, that's, that's not like before. Okay. That's not like before. Okay. That's what I ask. Yeah. That's it. And see any good movies over the weekend? No, because uh, on Sunday I was going to... On Sunday, I wound up in the emergency room of the hospital for five hours. For what? Well, I got a little inflammation in my right leg below the knee. Oh. And so my doctor said, go there. You know, go there. So I went there. He called in the orders for me to get tested. Right. An hour to check in. Oh. When I checked in, it was another 40 minutes till... Uh, the person came that could do the test. Then they took me to a room. In that room, for about another 40 minutes, waiting for the doctor to come in and say, uh, you, know, we, you know, we didn't find anything major. Don't worry about it. Just keep your leg up. And then I sat for one hour waiting for the release papers. Oh, my goodness. Now, it's not their fault. They're understaffed. Yeah, I hear it. So you, you couldn't get mad at the doctors. You couldn't get mad at the admission people. They were doing, they were doing, you know, were, first come, first serve as far as emergency. Who who has to be dealt with first? And also, uh, you know, there's just yeah. not there's not enough people to have it operate smoothly with the paperwork. Oh my goodness! Now, how do you feel? I feel better. I mean, I've got I've got a meeting with my specialist today. That so it's actually good that this happened now, because she'll get a chance to 
to take all the reports okay. we got from yesterday and what happened to me yesterday and put it into, you know, a look at my, le my, my left knee and stuff. So actually, you know, you know my, 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 le my right leg, which was my good leg, is very stiff and, and very hard to move, but uh, it should go away. It should be better. Um, do they give a medication? No. No? No. Just go home and keep your leg up. Great. For that, you could have stayed home. <laughs> I bet you that bill was like 600 bucks. Uh, uh, sometimes more than that. <laughs> when I went to the ER a couple of months ago, I just saw the bill. And don't forget, I had an EKG, yeah. too. Uh, the bill came to over four thousand dollars. Yeah, well, I had a, I had a cat scan, so it's going to be up there. It's going to be up there. <laughs> okay. You can well, laugh about I'm it. I'm glad you're feeling better. I was not I was not happy uh, at the end when I had, you had to wait for an hour to get your lease. No, I, I finally know. sent a, a, a message by the nurse, and I said, "Tell him I'm going to I'm leaving, and that they can email me the report, and and then I'll, then I got that. But it's not their fault." Yeah. It's not their fault. They had a busy day, they say, when they're, but they're, they're severely, obviously, understaffed. So so I, it's not their fault. You can't get mad at them. Okay. And we won't. That's the way it looked. That's so, the way it so, looks. So, and the way so, it looks here, there, Marshall, let a smile be your umbrella. That's right. And no movie. It was a no movie Sunday, but I'll make up for that next weekend. Okay, good. That sounds good. All right, pal. I'll speak to you in the morning. Okay, bye, Marshall. Take care. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast. We uh, thank you uh, for uh, joining us uh, this morning on the first hour of the Breakfast Club.